Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use dynamic content to create a WooCommerce product info accordion in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So for this tutorial, we're going to need to have WooCommerce installed because this is what's going to control all our products. All right, so uh, I've already gone ahead and installed WooCommerce. And by the way, it's a free plugin. So go ahead and install it over here on the plugins. So what I'm going to do now is to add my product. So I'm going to come over here and click on add new. So I want to give this product a name. So I'm just going to call this massage. And then I'm going to add some description text. Right. So the next thing is to add a category over here. So I'm just going to click on add category. And my category here is going to be called service. And then I'm going to click on add to category. Right. So moving on, the next stage now is to add our product image. So I'm going to click here on set product image. So I already have an, a, um, an image here in my media library. But if you want to use your own images, the size here is 800 by 800 pixels. And if you want to use the layout pack that I've used, this is a free layout pack. You just install it on the pre-made layouts. And this is the massage layout pack. All right, so I'm going to click on set image. Now over here on the product data, we need to change this to a variable product. So this is very important that you change it to variable. Now over here to the attributes, we're going to add a new attribute and we're going to call this attribute type. And then over here on the values, I'm just going to add these different values, Swedish, hot stone, aromatherapy, and deep tissue. And then over here, it's important that you select used for variation and then click save attributes. All right. So the next step is to come over here to variations and on this drop down, you need to choose create variations for all attributes. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and click on go. I'm going to say OK and click OK one more time. So now you can see here all my variations has been added. Right. So the next step here is to go to variation and set regular prices. Click on go. And the value that we need to add here is 50. And then I'm going to click OK. So pretty much I'm done setting up everything that I need to set up here. So the next step now is to save and publish. So I'm going to come over here, click on publish. Great. So now that we've uh, hit publish, we're not done yet because over here we have uh, this right sidebar. But the best thing to do here is to first click on use Divi Builder and then Go back over here to the right sidebar and select full width because we want our product page to take over the whole page without any sidebars. Now let's click on build on front end. So I'm going to click here. So this now is going to take us to our front end editor. And as you can see, this is the basic layout that we get with the default setup. But we're also going to go in and change this whole design. So what we need to do here is to just go in and delete pretty much uh, everything here. So over here on the bottom, I'm going to add an accordion. So as you can see here, I don't have uh, space to add my new module. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on these three little dots and then click on this layers icon. So over here on the layers, I'm just going to toggle this down. It's going to extend this. So I know I'm going to be on this last row. So I'm going to click on that, expand it, expand the column, and then I'm going to add an accordion. So there we go. I'm going to select it. Right. So over here, the first thing we need to do is to go into the first item here. So I'm going to click on the gear icon and I'm just going to replace the title here with my title. And then over here, I'm going to click on this dynamic uh, button. And here we need the uh, product description. So I'm going to select product description. And this is going to be dynamically added onto it. As you can see here, it has been added dynamically. So now that I have all this all set, I'm going to go back over here and go to the second one. And again, I'm going to click on this gear icon and add my title. And my title here is going to be specifications. And then over here on the body, we're also going to add our dynamic content. So I'm going to click on it. And this time, what we're looking for is product additional information. So I'm just going to look for it. And here it is, product additional view, uh, information. So I'm going to select that. And if I expand it, you can see here it brings the type and then it also shows our Swedish hot stone aromatherapy and deep tissue. Right. So let's add one more. And this time we're going to add the product review. So I'm going to click on this plus button here and I'm going to add my title. Then over here again, this is going to be dynamic. And this time I need to look for 
my uh, product review element or content. So here we go, product review. So I'm gonna select it. So this is going to show our product reviews. Great, so all right, so now we've added all the information that we need here. So I'm just gonna close the layers and I'm gonna go back over here. And now it's time to go in and adjust our colors and also our fonts. So the very first thing I'm going to do here is to go to my design tab and we are going to start with the icon. So let's add our icon color. I'm gonna click here on this eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. Now in your case, if you want to use the exact same colors I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Next, we are going to customize this icon size. So to do that, we're going to activate use icon font size, and then we're going to set this to 26. There we go, so it's nice and big. Next, we're going to come over here to the toggles. So we're going to start off with the uh, open toggle background color. So here, we're going to just leave this as it is. Let's move on to the closed toggle background color, and we're going to set this to white. So I'm just gonna drag this all the way up to white. So this is for the closed. And then next, I'm going to go to the open title text color. So I'm gonna come over here, open title text color, click on the eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. And then next over here on the title color, I'm gonna set this to this very dark gray. Now let's add all our fonts. So my font here, I'm gonna change it from default to Leto. And this is a free font by the way. So just search for it and select it. These are Google fonts. Okay, so now that I've added it, I need to also make this bold. There we go. And then on the text size, I'm gonna set this to 20. The next step is to head over here to the letter spacing and set this to 0.2 EM. And then the line height needs to be 2 EM. So I'm gonna set it over here to 2 EM. So if I do a quick preview here, we can see about the product is showing this uh, title color. In fact, you know what? We need to make this all caps as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my all caps there. And now that's looking much, much better. Now let's work on the body font. So I'm gonna come over here and just go to my body. So the first thing we need to do here is to change our font as well. So I'm gonna choose Leto, and it's going to be right here because I've just uh, used it a few moments ago. Next on the text size here, I'm gonna set this to 16. And then on my line height, I'm gonna set this to 1.8. Now, if you need to, you can also add your link text color. So I'm gonna come over here on the second tab and um, I'm just gonna come over here to this eyedropper tool and paste my color. Now, as I mentioned before, if you wanna use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link in the post, the show notes below. Okay, so moving on, uh, let's further customize this. So let's go to the unordered list. And again, we can go in and add our colors. So I'm gonna come over here and add my color like that. Now you can see our line height here doesn't look great. So I'm gonna go in and increase my line height a little bit. And then over here on the item indent, I'm gonna set this to 5%. Over here on unordered list, style so let's choose circle here make it look slightly different and you can see now we've just added a little bit of a design to these bullets so that's looking much much better all right so the next step here is to go in and customize our borders for our accordion so i'm going to scroll all the way down here choose border and the very first thing i'm going to do here is to choose the top one here so i'm going to choose top one and uh, i'm going to set this to one pixel and I'm also going to add my border color. And this is going to be my really dark gray. So that's gonna be on the top. And then next, I'm just gonna make sure that on the other sides, I don't have anything on there. So I'm just removing the border here so that my border only shows on the top, just like that. Now, finally, we're just going to add a bit of CSS code here to remove a bit of space. So I'm gonna come over here to custom CSS. And then on the toggle here, I'm just gonna add margin bottom equals zero pixels. So pretty much this is all we need to do. Now let's make some final adjustments here. So let's save this. And you can see here on the top that our colors here don't really match. So I can go in now and just uh, make sure our colors at least match. So I'm gonna come over here to design, price text, change this to Leto, so that it's uh, pretty much similar to what we have throughout our site. And then I'm gonna add my color in here. And I'm also going to do the same to the button. So I'm gonna come over here, click on settings. Then I'm gonna click on design button. 
then I'm going to activate use custom styles for buttons so that I can add my colors in here. So again, I'm just going to add this color here so that it matches what we have here on the bottom. So again, uh, our font here needs to be changed. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to look for my font area. And here it is. I'm going to choose Lato. Now over here on uh, the variable product, I can actually go in and also make some uh, further adjustments. So I can add a border around it. So I'm going to come all the way down here and add my border like that. So over here on the drop down menus, I can also uh, make the color here transparent. And I am also going to choose the option to change the font. So I'm going to change it from default to Lato. And I'm just going to increase the size a little bit here. So let's set it to about 14. Now here on the text, I'm also going to go in and set this to Lato. And I'm going to make it all caps. And I'm also going to make it slightly bigger. I'm going to go ahead and set this to about 20. And I'm just going to give this a bit of letter spacing. So I think two works fine. So pretty much now it's uh, very close to matching our style that we have here on the bottom. And then over here on the top, finally, I'm just going to work on my title here and just change my font. So I'm going to go in, click on this brush tool and go to my title text and change this to Lato. I'm also going to make it uh, very dark gray. I'm going to go ahead and select my color here. And pretty much I'm happy with this. So I'm going to save this and then save this one more time. And let's do a quick preview of our design. So I'm going to exit the visual builder now. And this is our design. So over here, if we take a look, it has all the accordion. And when I click on this, it shows me all the information about the service that I have above here. Again, on the reviews, if we have any reviews, they are going to show over here on the bottom. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.